Well, hello and welcome one and all. This, of course, is our coverage of one of the major rivalries on the peninsula. The Derby of the Sun. Napoli and Roma, who have traditionally shared an identity in that they were the first of the successful teams to come out of the, the central, the southern regions of Italy. It was a rivalry, originally an amicable one, until the recent past, as both clubs went through their cycles and phases and things at times began to sour. It does always show that even in the football world, the margin between love and hate can be separated by a very, very fine line. Now known for being one of the most bitter and hotly contested of all Italian games, it promises to be an explosive affair. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, they call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so. More in actual fact than we. Well, exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football, Peter, and a picture-perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention. And it's likely to have quite a big say between teams that could easily be sucked into an excuse for another feud. Why let an exhibition match get in the way of that? So these two will be going at it very, very strongly. the whistle so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture yeah Dries Mertens he's just so quick and elusive Peter he'll be in behind that defensive line before they even know what's hit them the way he drifts across the forward line also makes him very difficult to track and he often lures defenders out of position creating space for others to sneak into I think he's going to be a real hit here He's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Manolas. Fabian Ruiz. Tries to get it forward quickly. <laughs> well, there's something you don't see every day. That'll be a corner. Zaniolo. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim. Well, I think both teams probably... Has a pop! Goal! Roma! Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike.
Napoli. Didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Hoists it forward. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Tries a shot! Ruiz. Di Lorenzo. And helps available out wide. He'll hit it! This could fall anywhere! Napoli, get it back again. Abraham. Manolas positions himself well and cuts it out. Spinazzola. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. He's got options out wide. And a header! Mkhitaryan opts to play it back. And it's Bruno Perez. Goes for goal! Back of the net! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Roma produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. So that's two now without reply. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team... Are... He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. <laughs> Hefty challenge, but fair enough. There too. Mkhitaryan tries to stroke it through. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Osiman. Mertens. And it's Pastore. Pastore goes up and over. Played back in. He's had that put up. Shapes to shoot! Yes! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pastor to pick him out. without reply this is becoming a stroll well it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable there could be more on the way Osiman just brushed off the ball there Pastore drives it forward it's got through to him clears it out of harm's way and that is as far as they're going to go And it's played forward. That's a foul, no two ways about it. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me.
Loose ball, who's going to get there? Zielinski. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Ruiz. And here's Ruiz. Ruiz hits one! And the shot! That is a class save. He had to be at his best. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Roma 3-0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. Already up and running for the second half. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. <laughs> Meret sends that a long way. And here's Mertens. Spinazzola looks to dink one in. Manolas. Di Lorenzo. Napoli keep the ball but can't do anything meaningful with it. Osiman. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. And that's going to be a booking. I just think it was a, a cheap foul to give away. Pastore attempts a clearance. Osiman. And it's Insignia. It's a loose ball. Oh, it's a clever movement up front. Yeah, they're playing with a, a false nine, and no one's really holding a fixed position up there. And how does that work? Well, I think it's an attempt to just confuse this defence with, with constant interchange and, and different movement. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, <laughs> extraordinary. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. to win it back Zielinski Insigne provides an outlet Napoli claiming a corner and the referee concurs Insigne plays it short hit into the middle Saniolo with good energy in defence as well I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. Goes for goal! Pastore goes looking. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Mario Ruhl. position to make that interception Mario Rui now it's Insigne Zielinski Lorenzo Insigne goes 
for it. There two. Loret. Chance! Great football, shot and save. All he'll be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Napoli are making a change now. It's going to be a double change then. Great leap! Mkhitaryan gets it away. Forward it goes. Vertu plays it out to the wing. Manolas gets into the right position to intercept. Fabian Ruiz plays it forward, played into space out wide, Ruiz. But there's going to be another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Fair two. Chip through. <laughs> Fabian Ruiz. Maximovic. Manolas. Koulibaly. Manolas. Fabian Ruiz. Manolas tries to get it forward quickly. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Mertens looking to run onto it. And time is up. Roma, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they've got on the ball, they look like scoring. It is a landslide. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Roma made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are...